Hi guys, I'm Keaton and I'm going to be showing you guys my beauty secrets and how I do a perfect wing and a everyday really quick 10 minute makeup look. I like to start off by washing my face. So what we're going to do is just pull our hair back. I use these slip silk scrunchies. They're the best scrunchies and they're really nice on your hair because they're just like silky and smooth. So I'm going to take all of my hair back into this. Oh, it's all there. My face is really white uh, because I don't self tan my face, but I do self tan my body. So as we can see, hands, neck, everything is really dark, um, but we're gonna wash our face. I use the Face Reality Skincare. This is a ultra gentle cleanser. This is just a gentle wash. I use it morning, night, and if I'm not wearing makeup that day, I also use it midday um, just to help really clear my skin. It doesn't have anything that will clog your pores, and it's really, really changed my skin with acne breakouts. If I'm having a pimple and I wash my face with this, it's like they're completely gone. So I'm gonna use my gentle cleanser. I just put a little bit on here. I also get pimples in my hairline, so I like to just scrub close to the hairline because I always have makeup in there. And if I don't wash it out, I'll get a pimple right where it goes. Also your jaw and right next to my ears, right here. I often get pimples at just places that when you wash your makeup off, you don't normally get. So I like to just really make sure I'm in there. Always pat your face dry. Since I've dyed my hair every single time I wash my face or I even get my hairline remotely wet, red always comes off on the towel. It'll never not come off just because, I don't know, just always going to be coming out. <laughs> okay, so now my skin is completely dry and I would normally put on a um, serum which helps sit into my skin and help it also like not have acne, helps clear my pores, but because I'm gonna do my makeup right after this, I'm not gonna put the serum on, so I'm just gonna wash my face and go straight into the makeup. I'm gonna readjust this ponytail because it's not really tight enough or out of my face enough. It's not really. Before we do our makeup, I like to always go in with this Laneige lip mask. This is the vanilla one. Love this. Now for the fun part, which is makeup. Okay, so we're going to go in with the First Aid Beauty. This is Coconut Skin Smoothing Primer Priming Moisturizer. So the reason I washed my face and I didn't apply moisturizer or anything is because I always use this as my moisturizer because it feels so good. So I just take a little dot this big and we're just gonna... Next up is concealer. I'm using the Smashbox Concealer. This is Studio Skin Flawless 24 Hour Concealer and I'm using Fair Light Warm Peach. And I just like to use this as extra coverage a little bit before I go in to my foundation. There's just spots that are dark, like under my nose, a little under my eye. Just conceal them. I don't use a beauty blender for any of my makeup. I only use makeup brushes and I always use Sigma brushes. So this is the Sigma Round Kabuki brush, F82, and I just need to go on, blend it out as is. I always watch these um, Vogue Beauty Secrets and I love watching all of the models who are like naturally perfect and they put like five dots of concealer on and lipstick and then smooth their eyebrows out and they're like, and then I just go to work and I'm like, funny story because this video is gonna be like a full face of foundation. We're gonna actually be putting makeup on but this is actually done really quickly I'm kind of slowing it down for you guys so you can see but this takes me maybe 10 minutes to do so that's the concealer 
Next up, we've got foundation. I go between these two foundations. This is the Forever Skin Glow by Dior, and this is the Laura Mercier um, Silk Cream Moisturizing Photo Edition Foundation. This is a long name. This one is amazing and feels so good on the skin, but I think this is too light for me right now, so I'm gonna go in with the Dior one, which is a better shade for me. I am in 3C, and I just shake it up a little bit. I'm gonna just pump this on the back of our hand. Going in with the same foundation brush, I start at the jaw and bring it down. Always start at the jaw because if I start in the middle of my face, I can't ever tell if it's actually matching my neck. So I always start at the jaw so that if it's the wrong shade foundation, I can easily wipe it off and it's not like all over the center of my face. But we're just gonna work it in always cover your ears i've been having to cover my ears especially because of the red dye that is on my ears okay so this is the foundation blended it all along my neck all along my ears i always do it over my eyelids because they're pretty pale and you can see my veins, but foundation's done. Now to set my face, I'm using this Kylie powder in the shade Ear Perfect. This is from last year's Christmas edition, which um, you probably can't buy, but you could just use any like skin shade powder. And I just pat it underneath my eyes. I don't conceal under my eyes because I do that before I put the foundation on. I don't really, like the concealer look anymore. Kinda over it. So after I do my under eyes, this is a palette that I use every single day and I use this, I use all these shades in here, but this highlighter shade, top left, I always use with a big powder brush and I go over all my skin. So it is setting the rest of my foundation, but with a like glowy powder instead of it looking really powdery and like gross and crusty you can see it adds glow to it and this is the becca cosmetics um chloe and malika like bffs collaboration we did with becca cosmetics so i don't know if this is available but i use this so now my skin is set and we're going to go in with bronzer which is my fave because this really helps um, bring more life to my face and also match the rest of my body. So I use this hourglass Bronzer here. It is. It's beautiful. This is radiant bronze light taking another Sigma brush. This is the large powder brush F30 Twist it around Always bronze down the neck like I said my favorite thing is bronzing the forehead I think it makes my Makeup look way more seamless and like all around glowy when you have all the bronzer right by the hairline. Next up is blush, which is, I live for blush. It's also my favorite. So I'm gonna be using this dark pink shade, another Sigma brush, and I apply a lot of this. So like, dip it a bunch and right on the apples of my cheeks give a little soft smile I've been more into blush recently because of my red hair I feel like I need like a little more color on my face to go with the hair so that is the blush and now we're gonna move on to eyes I use this Anastasia Brow Wiz on my eyebrows what I do is I comb them down like this all the way and then I create a line. So it's like a coloring book. I just color them in and then when you brush them up, they're completely filled in. Now for eyeshadow, I don't really do eyeshadow much anymore, so I just take my same Hourglass Bronzer, a big eyeshadow brush from Sigma again, 
and I just go all over the lid. I don't like to leave my eyelids bare, but I don't really care to do like a big eyeshadow look. I just want some dimension and using the same bronzer helps like match it to the rest of my face. So we're just gonna add a little bit of a deeper crease in there. Now for the eyeliner part. This is my favorite part and I'm so happy I got um, good at this because it took me quite a while. I'm using this, I alternate different eyeliners this is a really good one, and the Clinique one is a really good one, but right now I'm using the Tarte Man Eater Eyeliner. So show you guys exactly what I do to get my wing. I'm gonna look this way so I can see, but basically what I do is take the pen, I touch it to the corner, and I just swish it up like that. So that creates the outline of the wing. And then I'll do the same thing over here, here, And there is how far I want it to go up and I always have to make sure it's going up and not out because then it will make your eye look droopy so you want it to go up and then I start on the inside line the water line and I line it just straight all the way until it connects with the line on the corner so now we've got inner line right there so we're gonna start from where we want the wing to start up here and I just go and I draw it in so now we've got the shape of it and that's exactly how I want it to look so now you just fill it in with the liner there's tons of ways to do eyeliner but that's the easiest one for me They're never even, they're never the same, but that's how I do my eyeliner every single day. Start from the outside, connect them, fill in the middle. I don't know how I came up with that method, but that's what I do. Easiest way for me to learn it. So now that my eyeliner is done, I'm gonna add the mascara. This is an amazing mascara. I highly recommend this. So this is by a brand So Addicted. This is the Lash Addict Mascara. What I love about this is that it actually has um, the Lash Addict Conditioning Serum in here. So the serum that I use to grow my lashes every single night, I put it on my lashes every night to grow them, is actually in the mascara. So as you're applying your mascara, you can also be helping grow your lashes. So I watched a YouTube video when I was like 10 years old and the lady did her eyelashes down just like this. And so now I do them down and then I do them up. And this coats them front and back, basically. I take this tiny little eyeshadow brush and I dip it into the highlighter and I put it on the inner corner just to bring some life in there. And I also do it on the brow bone. Then we're gonna take some setting spray. This is the All Nighter Urban Decay Setting Spray. I'm gonna set my whole face. Taking the same highlighter shade and a little fan brush and you want to put this highlighter on while your skin is wet because you can see it sticks oh i forgot to contour my nose i'll do that next i normally do that when i do my bronzer but i kind of forgot about it so i'll do it right now but then i just take all the highlighter and i put it everywhere i want my whole face to look glittery I forgot to uh, nose contour, so normally I just take a little, like skinny little eyeshadow brush back and forth into the bronzer, tap it off, and just do the bridge of my nose. I don't really necessarily need this, I just like the way it looks on my nose. Very messy, very not precise. I'm not doing this for the look of a nose job. I'm just looking, I just like to do it because it matches the rest of my face. My nose always ends up very white and the makeup comes off of it. So if I put nose contour on it, it slims it. And then I go with my fingers and I just kind of wipe it. 
Last, but absolutely not least, lip liner. This is Spice by MAC. I've used this since I was in seventh grade. We're just gonna... So the lip liner's on, and I mush them together so that it blends all the lips. And then I take this lighter lipstick. I'm gonna take this clear gloss, the best gloss ever. I'm so addicted again. All right, so those were my beauty secrets and also my 10 minute makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will leave all the makeup in the description down below. I absolutely love watching these Vogue uh, beauty secret videos and I think they're so fun and cute and like aesthetically pleasing so I figured I would record them for myself just because I think it's fun to do so I hope you guys liked this video comment down below some of your beauty secrets or what you may have learned from this or if you just enjoyed it um, don't forget to subscribe by hitting the red button and I will see you guys next time bye